Hey family, this is Miss V. Well, hypothetically speaking, sorry, I'm, I am really, really tired. We had some uh, bat storms in North Georgia. Uh, I lost power, I believe Thursday at my house for maybe four to five hours from 10 to like one or two. And then Saturday when I went to work, as soon as I finished my client, my last client, we lost power at the salon first time in uh, 13 years. So, um, whatever's going on just be prepared for rainy days ladies and gentlemen make sure we got something solar to power up some type of uh solar lights that we have outside in our garden maybe we can break them in the house if you don't have uh solar lights on your house so you can see around your house if something happened so we got to prepare for a rainy day but want to show you really quick do a quick garden um just to look at the garden i'm um, just trying to show you really quick uh, no long video what the damage was in the garden i love 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 my red amaranth and when we had the bad storm um it knocked down my amaranth uh, knocked down my green tomatoes and now i got my, some post out for my amaranth in the front yard and i got some uh zip ties and i gotta handle that i have to take care of that and a lot of it i might have to cut down so let me show you what's going on in the garden that the uh storm did of course is knocked down the tomato this was the green tomatoes you see it's like a big ball of hair green hair gotta take that but my beautification this is my dad's garden this is alex's garden y'all see all my beautiful amaranth on the floor i don't like that it is completely on the ground it's all covering my lettuce and my basil and um on my fig tree but everything was nice and tall ornamental very pretty i'm gonna come and just cut it back and put uh the grains back in that container um i have plenty for sale or to barter or trade um that i have harvest from last year and actually i probably put it with that because there's so uh so much of it and um these things right here and make you a whole beautiful plant and you can eat this like porridge and you do your homework but um i gotta get this standing up um knock that down of course my fennel you see these little things they're all over the garden um all over the plant they like fennel too um and uh, the other fennel around the yard that didn't take down but this is what it i got a couple banana trees over there that i'll show you that it knocked the leaf down the amaranth over there looking good like i said it's not a full garden tour i'm just trying to show you what the rain did i'll take you in the front yard really quick um the storm i came in back here my pretty 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 banana tree look at her see it, it knocked my leaf over when i came up this morning this leaf was the opposite way see it broke my leaf how beautiful this leaf was it was just like that when i woke up so i now have to take her and put her in the compost but i'm proud of her look at all the babies she got like one two three four five six babies down there and I had took this baby from this tree in there. So this tree is kicking butt, y'all. This is a cold hardy banana tree that I got from the uh, uh, garden outlet in Loganville, Georgia, uh, when I got this. So she's kicking butt. I'm gonna share that, those babies with my mom and sister when I get home, but she's kicking butt. But this is the garden. Like I said, the rain did its thing. And um, I'm just trying to show you something burned my the sun look at this five years of gardening i had this uh, pear tree probably four years this ain't never happened look how I burned my leaves look chocolate i took down my that heat did a number on that pear tree never never had that so i'm about to do some major major clipping to that pear tree and over here my mulberry tree i'm gonna have to feed it some tea compost she's yellow and green i ain't never saw her like that so we got some heat up in here. Something is growing over there. Let me take it out so I won't get thrown off. And the my pecan. This almost looked like pokeweed salad out of my things. But let me show you. It knocked down my pretty emerald. Hope everybody's having a marvelous day, no matter where you live around the world watching this video. Um let's bring some type of happiness. You know, some people say, well, I don't know how you happy. I'm not happy, but let's try to bring some type of happiness. Oh, just smiling and looking at something beautiful. Make you smile. I don't care if it's a flower or a rose or looking at the clouds. Look how beautiful this amaranth was telling up. 
I'm going to get a stick and zip tie. I need to tow that down. I have another one really quick. Walk with me. I'm going to show you. I destroyed that one as well. Look at my baby. She leaning. She was so pretty. But I got up a stick. I'm going to zip tie her up this morning. So she won't be, as they say, gangster leaning. So that's a no-no. But the garden, yeah, that sun, it did a number. Some of the grass you see is burnt. Sticks and everything is blowing around. But um, it did a number in the garden. So I'm going to come out here not too long because I'm tired. First day off of work. And come out here and just really zip tie a couple of these trees up. And um, I tell you, these raspberries, when I say the heat burning them, before you can come out and pick them. Look how, look at this. Look at this. Before you can come out and pick it. Look at this. You want to come and pick it, but the heat, it'd be so hot. Look at this. It, it'd be so hot. And mind you, these been in the ground four years. I've never came out and they burnt like this, but our heat index been over 100. Been in the late 90s and over 100, and it's just been burning your food. So that's the blackberry so other than that i'm proud to be a gardener at home backyard front yard gardener i am proud i salute everybody that's doing it and want to do it and get ready to do it we got to grow our own food ladies and gentlemen and so this is my cherry tree i started from scratch a seed so we can do this just take a leap of faith uh we can check on this side over here since i'm in the front yard really quick <sighs> And see what's going on over here. I see the sticks all over. But um got my patch leaning over, which I'll come up here and stake this up. See how the wind knocked all the sticks down. This was standing up. See how this is? It's doing this gangster lane over here. I gotta fix this. Got some strawberries, trying to be strawberries. I saw one the other day. And the bugs ate it, I think. But they beat the grandkids. If the grandkids see this, they're going to be too upset. Look. So we got strawberry. But the animals got strawberries too. So they over here getting a bite. Let them enjoy themselves. So everything's looking good. This is a blueberry tree. There's strawberries. And you see it's growing this vine. It's vining. But yeah, we it's still got productivity. But if you don't get it fast, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to tell you gardener to another gardener. The animals will come and eat it too. They like sweets just like we like sweets. But yeah, I'm gonna come over here and fix this. Cause this is really doing it's gangster lean and it is moving all over the place. And that's a no no. But uh hope all is well. Body is doing as best they can. Hope everybody's starting to stay cool. It is very, very hot no matter where you live around the world. Stay safe, stay cool, stay hydrated. And I'm sending love, peace, and happiness wherever you are. And some encouraging words. Put a smile on your face and look at somebody and smile. Look at something that'll make you smile. As they say, this too shall pass. In the name of the Most High and the Creator. Sending love out to you from Mr. V, Hypothetical Speaking Gardener. Have a great day. Thanks.